Hey, hey everybody and welcome back. So in today's video, we are doing our last weekly check-in for the month of June because next week when I close out the budget, there's not going to be a check-in because there's going to be a budget results video instead. So we're going to go ahead and check out or do a weekly check-in now. So we have our Filofax wallet from the Budget Mom with all of our cash envelopes in them. All right, so we're going to pull these out. Set them right here. We also have our Erin Condren monthly planner, which is a seven by nine. And we're gonna flip to June. So first up, we're gonna lay down the bills that came out this week. So we have car payments that were paid today on the 24th. And then student loans and the car interest were both on the 23rd. There's those two. So now we're going to look at our groceries. And I only went to Aldi's this week. Um, if you saw the grocery haul video that went live this week, we just picked up. Okay, so that was on the 20th. So we're going to do Aldi's for 120 and we picked up quite a lot of things so that was awesome so 120 all right so that was all for spending or for groceries next up we have spending so we have two transactions so this past week i had a dentist appointment the kids had dentist appointment so it's been a lot um so i've went and picked up a tea at the nutrition club and that was nine dollars and then I had picked me up some lunch after my dentist appointment because I had to go from one side of town to the other side of town and hadn't eaten so I stopped and got me chick-fil-a as I had to go pick up the kids so both of those were on the 21st Okay, and then this week, only James filled up. I think my car is just now hitting half of a tank, uh, which is awesome, because um, I haven't really driven it that much. So I need, I will, I will be filling up over the next few days, and I just wrote those on the wrong one. Hold on. Okay, so for gas, we went to, James went to Spinks and filled up his car, and that was $46, and he went on the 20th and filled up on his way to work. All right, so there's that one, and then let's see, I don't think we used miscellaneous. So now we're going to check miscellaneous. We didn't spend any money there and nothing from unbudgeted. So now we have to pull out our no spend stickers and see how many days we had. So we had Sunday. With a no spin and then we had wednesday with a no spin which is really awesome super excited about that so now let's see how many no spins we have for the month of june so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so eleven no spins which is amazing still have five more days until the end of the month so we'll see how many more days we end up with all right so now we have our view set up here for the week we need to flip over to our weekly check-in and we're checking in from the 19th to the 24th. We are actually using pink. All right, so 19th to 24th. So I might actually not even need it for some of these. All right, so, so this week we spent $120 for Aldi's in our grocery category. Last week we had 126 and then I went through the store adding up every single thing and make sure we stayed under budget. So we still have $6 remaining. All right, so let's pull out our envelope and see if that's what we still have remaining. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. I'm going to leave this. Normally I would pull, um, I was trying to pull the ones, but since there's only six ones, I'm going to leave that for the next few days to make sure we don't need like milk or bread before the end of the month which is des definitely possible. So we'll leave that $6 in there. Moving on along, 
James got gas for $46, and that's how much we spent this week, which is awesome. So last week we still had 158 minus the 46, so we still have $112 left for the last few days of the month. Hopefully we'll have some left over we can roll into July and we'll see how that goes. So that's great. Next up is spending. We had two transactions, one for $14 and one for nine. So total spent is 23. And this is my personal spending, like I don't count James's or anything. So last week I had 66 minus the 23. So I should still have $43 in my spending. Let's see. So 20, 41, 2, 3. Perfect. And I try to not spend this like I do anything I can to not have to like eat out, which is what I've done mostly with this. That way I can add it with my sinking fund um, envelope. That way I can like get my hair done or something. So I'm about to try contact a new person to see if she can do it for a reasonable price. So we shall see. I'm really excited. All right, next up, miscellaneous. We didn't have anything. So there should be a 50. Still here. Perfect. All right, and then no unbudgeted. All right, so there is all of those categories. They are done. Let's see. I don't think, I did have this updated. We haven't had any more sinking funds come out. Um, I'm really hoping that in July we can stuff some of these because I need to pay for dance. Um, and we have card tags that are due in August, so I need to make sure we have plenty in there. But that's it. Not a long check-in, not much going on this week. Been trying to make sure we keep stuff done all on the same day. Um, but I really hope that y'all enjoyed this weekly check-in for the last week of June. Well, the last check-in for June. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye-bye now.